call is being recorded. And light and love to all the elemental forces. So just as Yeshua said, peace be still, and the waters and the winds were stilled, so too can you do the same. For we all have the power together as one to bring about great change to the planet. You only need to know that you have that power, that you are that power. So know as you send the love to all beings on the planet, and all beings feel this love, this oneness. They are all changed in an instant, in just a moment. Where everything comes together in oneness, in one consciousness. Allow for a moment for this love to spread out across the planet. Everywhere there is darkness, there is now light. Wherever there is hate, there is now love. Wherever there is fear, there is love. Fear and hate and judgment cannot be in an atmosphere of love. Know that you are that love. You are love incarnate. Allow yourselves now to begin to drift back from wherever you find yourself, back to the pillar of light, and back down the pillar of light towards your physical body, back toward the earth and your body. As you enter your body, bring that love, that consciousness, that one consciousness back in with you. that you know that you are that love. And allow your body now to come back into a complete state of conscious circulation, fully revitalized and refreshed. I am Ashtar. There are those moments that come when all things do not seem as they need to be or that you want them to be, but yet they are so. Yet they are doing what they need to do in those times and those moments. I speak now of consciousness. I speak now of the love that you share and you spread throughout all the planet. 
for it is you, as you spread this love and this one consciousness, it is you that is making the change here. It is you that is bringing up the vibrations of the planet. It is you that is raising the frequencies. It is you that is creating the consciousness here, that is making this consciousness, this love, this vibration increase across the planet. You, the light workers, the light warriors, those of you that came here to do this. And now is the time for this to be. Now is the time for you to reach out and help your neighbor wherever you can. Reach out and offer them advice, offer them your understanding, your love, wherever you can. That is not to mean that you are to invade their privacy. Not at all. But it does mean that wherever the opportunity arises, now is the time to reach out and help your neighbor in any way that is possible in that given situation. Yes, as these storms rage across the planet, know that they are not the storms that have been predicted. They are not the storms that have been created by the fear mongers across the planet to lower the vibrations. That is their purpose, to lower the vibration. And your purpose is to raise the vibration. So you are going against each other all the time, but know that as you continue to raise vibration, as you continue to do all that you know to do, then that is helping the process greatly. All of those that are working for the light are spreading the light, are sharing the light. All of you are continuing to raise these vibrations and make everything across the planet come back to the way it was supposed to be, the way it needs to be, the way it is becoming and the way it will be. For as you move into this new golden age, you are the ones that are creating this age. Do not be mistaken. There are some, yes, that are reaching out and doing more, you might say. They are reaching more people across the planet. They are seemingly doing more than you are doing. But do not be deceived by this because you are doing what you can simply in a meditation, simply in prayer, simply in whatever it is that you know to do, just allow it to be. And allow and know that all is being orchestrated. Even these storms themselves are being orchestrated because it is necessary. It is necessary for the planet to breathe. It is necessary for the planet, for Gaia to purge herself. Purge yourself of all of the old consciousness here, all of the old ways, the old programming, all of this is being purged out by these storms and these earthquakes and all of these seeming catastrophes, but they are only catastrophes to those that are involved in them. And even those that are involved in them know in those moments that they are also there for a purpose. They may not know it at the conscious level, but they know it deep within themselves that they are also part of this great orchestration. So do not think even for a moment that your part to play in this is minor, for it is not. It takes all the parts together, all the parts to bring the entire picture to come to fruition. It takes all of the pieces of the puzzle to put the puzzle together, to complete it as a whole. And you are the ones that are doing that. Now is the time for you, not only to awaken yourselves, but to help others begin to awaken as well, as they show the need for it or the desire for it. Do not fall back from this. Take upon the mantle the consciousness, the oneness, the knowingness that you know to bring to the situation whenever it arises. Find the courage to speak out wherever you can. 
because there are so many out there that are just looking for a spark, are just looking for an ember to begin to rise into a flame or that they can help to rise into a flame themselves, just as you have. Just give them that spark and let them take it from there. But do not fall back from this, for this is your mission. At this moment in your lives, this is your mission. This is what you came here to do. And do it you will, and do it you are. True, the green light has not yet been given by Creator, but it is very close to being so. We have, we, we have told you before, are ready and waiting and ready to move at a moment's notice when that signal is given. And as you may know, as you may feel deep within you, that signal is really very close now. I am Ashtar. It is always wonderful to be with you, but even more wonderful when we can join together on our ships in various places on the planet where we can sit and experience with each other and have those wonderful celebrations that have been spoken of. For those celebrations are ready to be put into operation. All of my peace and love be with all of you. Greetings to you. One of us here with you to uh, do anything I can to assist you and to be of service to you. And uh, to know that you are the ones that uh, you are being of service to us greatly. You must know this. We cannot do it without you. We need your arms, your hands, your eyes, your ears, all of this. We need you, just as you think you need us. You really do not need us, but you think you do, so here we are, you see. But you, if you knew deep down within you that you have all of the power within you, you have all of the ability to imagine and visualize and create and manifest, right there within you all the time. It is almost as if you have those ruby shoes on and all you do need to do any time is just click them three times. That is all. That is so uh, profound in that movie that you had, your Wizard of Oz, just to know that you have that power, you have always had that power to go home. And we know many of you are tired and uh, have had enough of this nonsense here and this illusion here and these programming, and many of you want to go home. And you know what? We want you to come home. We want to be there with you. But there is still some work that you need to do. This is what you came here to do. As Ashtar has said, now is the time. Now is the moment. Now is your time and moment to rise up and do all that you can in any respect that you find yourself being able to do this, to reach out and help, to know that you have the power within you and have always had the power within you to make the changes here on the planet. As Gandhi said, you are the change, or if you want change in the world, be that change in the world, you see? You are the change. You are the ones that are creating this, and you are the ones that are going to take this forward. Do you have questions here for one who starts? No questions? Oh, everybody muted. Oh, it's very difficult for ones to have questions if they cannot ask their questions. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hello, this is Linda. Uh, three nights ago, while I was asleep in the middle of the night, I received a very 
a strong push in the middle of my back. And I it woke me up. It kind of startled me awake. And I was thinking it was St. Germain. Uh, but I wasn't sure if I was correct about that or if there was a message tied into that. As we can find it, uh, yes, you were uh, awakened by St. Germain. He has a connection with you directly. But what yes. you were feeling within you is your central nervous system is waking up. It is coming uh, online, you might say, even more than it has been previously. And you will begin to feel more and more of these types of sensations. And this goes for not only this one who is asking this question, but for all out there. Many of you will feel sensations such as this that this one is speaking of and other things, many other things that are going to happen. And you are going to feel this and move through this and know as it is happening that these are just simply symptoms. They are symptoms of the rising of the frequencies across the planet. And that is what is happening with all of the many uh, experiences or happenings that are, are coming to the planet, the celestial uh, events and all of these things that are happening that are bringing these energies, are raising these energies, are creating these higher frequencies for all to experience. Not only you, the light workers and light warriors and light sharers, but all across the planet to feel these energies and frequencies, even if they do not know what a frequency is, you see, they will still feel it at different levels. And you are the ones, as you feel these experiences, you are the ones that can then turn around and share with them what they are experiencing when the time feels right to you. And you will know when that time is. All you need to do is just let go and let everything orchestrate its way out. Do not become concerned with uh, other people's plight and all of this because it is their life. It is their experience. It is their path. Not that you cannot be compassionate. We are not saying that. Yes, be compassionate. Do what you can to help if they are wanting help. But step back then. Let it be. Let all of it just be what it is going to be. Do what you can and then let go. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Other questions here? I had a question. Yes? Yeah, hi. My name is Myra. I'm from New York. And um, about two nights ago, the History Channel aired a documentary about Montauk, Long Island, and um, the bases underneath. And I just want to know if you have um, information on that. It is much information that you can find as well, but what we can tell you, it is real. There is certainly a great reality to all of this that is being brought out. This is part of the truth that is being revealed. Coming in slowly, you might say, but it will pick up the steam. It will uh, gather more and more and more momentum as these mysteries, these things that have been covered up for a very long time, begin to steep out and come into the general public. And the general public is going to be amazed by much of this. They will be shocked by much of this. But it needs to come out. It needs to come out into the awareness so that those that are the perpetrators of these things can be brought under control here and, if possible, brought back into the light. Because that is what you always want to do. As fifth dimensional beings, you always send the light, send the love, and let it go and do what it needs to do from there. This is simply the same thing as these storms. Send the love to these elemental forces within these storms. Send the love to abate these storms, to dissipate them, to quell the winds around them, and they will. And the more that you believe in this, the more you will create this being. Okay? Yes, thank you. 
Well, there is one more thing to say about this. There is certainly the Montauk uh, Island and the base there that has been spoken of previously, and you as a group worked with this in the uh, one of the previous advances here and had a great deal of uh, uh, success in working with those that were in that base, in bringing some of them to the light. Many of them did turn to the light, but many of them as well did not. There are still some that have uh, uh, shied away from the light, you might say, and do not want a part of it because they do not understand it. They only understand the darkness. But if you continue to share the light, spread the light, even those that do not understand the light will begin to be drawn to it. It is as if flies and various insects are drawn to the light at night. You have all seen this. This is what it is about. Okay? Yes, yeah, thank you. Hi, this is Amora in California. And I would like to ask uh, what green light are we talking about? Or was Ashtar talking about? Because a year ago, I was sure I heard on another channeling that Creator had given the green light for everything to get started, but evidently that was only certain things. So what is this green light, please? Thank you. That green light that was given some time ago was exactly for that, to begin everything, to put everything in motion. The green light that Ashtar is speaking of is the final signal, the one that is the one that is going to put everything in motion directly at that time. And once that green light is given, then those that are on the ships and all those that are watching over this process will, uh, you might say, jump into action at that point. They are now simply waiting in a waiting uh, stance here, but they are ready and willing and able to move at a moment's notice and jump into action here. And this is what he was speaking of. Does that mean the mass landings? That means uh, that, yes, but also before that it would be the event, the, uh, uh, the light, the pulse of energy that is coming to the Earth. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Hi, the one who says, this is Rhea from the UK. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I was wondering, it was Friday night, and my brother said that, um, my brother here in the, who lives around the corner from me, he said he's seen a ship, and it was definitely a ship because he heard a thump upstairs in his, um, one of the children's bedrooms, all the kids were downstairs, they were all watching telly, and they heard a huge thump, and he, as he got up, as he heard the thump, he got up, as he looked out the window, he said, I could see a ship, Rhea. And I said, oh, it might be a scout ship. I'll have to ask. So I'm just calling, because this must have been about Friday night, just gone. Now, it was about half past nine Earth time, which means the ship would have been above my house, because they're only, a, like, a few streets away. So I'm intrigued to know who it was. We are not going could... to tell you who it was, but we can tell you it was. It was certainly <laughs> a ship, as you are saying here, and... To take this further, for all that are listening here, all of you are going to begin to have more and more of these experiences. Those of you that have already had these experiences previously are going to have more of this. This is going to increase, uh, what is the saying here, exponentially. exponentially here as these things continue on, as these various uh, Celestial events continue to happen, and all of these energies continue to rise as you are moving more and more into the fifth dimensional frequencies and staying there longer. You will be seeing beyond the veil, or as Lady Nada said, there is no veil, and there is no veil. There is no spoon from the matrix. There is no veil. And you are going to experience these things many, many more and more and more times here. 
Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. I'm glad. My brother's slowly waking up and his partner's slowly waking up and I guess the children. So it was quite magical for them to see that. Me, I was like, woo, I know. It was a scout ship. It was a fa I said, that's family. I said, it's nothing to be worried about. I said, it's family. I see them as family. They're your family too. Sure. That's how I said Every it to them, that they're your family. What better way for someone to awaken than to see a ship and to know <laughs> that it's there and to realize once and for all, you're not alone here on the planet. And if you think about it, what a ridiculous thought that is these days. Can you imagine that anyone still believes that they are alone in the entire universe, in the billions and billions and billions of galaxies, not only planets, but galaxies, and even more than one universe? It is preposterous to think that those can still believe that they are alone. And we are saying this now because as you hear those people that say these things, it is time for you to speak up and let them know that it is ridiculous to think in those kinds of terms now. Those times are over for you to be ridiculed because you believe you see something in the sky. No, now it is the other way around. And it is changing very, very fast here. Are there other questions here? I'm Cynthia. I have a question. Yes. We know who you are, Cynthia. Well, <laughs> How would we not know who you are? <laughs> Just so everybody knows out there. Um, someone in my family has brought to my attention in the last couple of days, and it kind of goes on and on about it, about these radio waves that are from 3 billion light years away. You know, so it happened 3 billion years ago, and now we're hearing it now. Um, could you tell me what those radio waves are? Well, exactly as you are saying. They are radio waves that happened a long time ago and are being received here now. That is not something that is uh, foreign or not understood here by your scientific community. They have known this for a long time. This is why they have utilized these types of communications in the past, your, your SETI, uh, yeah. and all of these types of things to find the extraterrestrial uh, influences and uh, be able to communicate with them. So they have sent a signal out, hoping it will find some type of uh, answer out there. And you know what? What? It is. <laughs> they well, send these signals a long time ago, and now they are being answered. They are being answered en masse, you might say, by many, many, many ships that have come to the planet and are beginning more and more and more to show themselves. And as we said earlier, they are going to show themselves more and more, so that when the uh, disclosure happens and first contact and all of this, it will be like it was uh, nothing special for mo many here on the planet because they will be expecting it and it will be something that will not jar their, uh, bring about fears and all of this and not uh, surprise them too much here, you see? Well, the family members, you know, says it's probably like a star bursting that bursted a long time ago because if it was extraterrestrial, it would be more like they would send pie or something like that, not something natural. And how would this person know that? <laughs> right. I just wanted an answer. So it wasn't like some star that, you know, blew up. It's actually what... Just that. Yes. Well, scientists will answer the way their yes. belief system. That is correct. Scientists will answer That's the way their belief system follows. is. Or that is correct. Remember follows. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Other questions here? I have a question. Yes. Hi. Okay. Um, so my question is um, about the elemental kingdom. Just like we have uh, multidimensional selves and a higher self and we exist on other planes of existence, et cetera, that we're not limited to this body, does the elemental, does the elemental 
kingdom incarnate here as butterflies and birds and things of that nature so that when you see that, they're, they're actually manifesting physically? Yes, very much so. They have many different ways of getting your attention. And some of these uh, ways are doing exactly as you are saying, to come into butterflies and fireflies and or dragonflies, rather, and uh, other types of things. But when the moment's right, when the frequencies are right, they will begin to show themselves as they are. And you will experience that and remember you will remember that you communicated with them a long time ago, and many of you have done this before. And some of you have even been them before. You see? Yeah. It is all one, and this is what you all need to come to understand. It is all one. All of it. everything is connected. Unity consciousness is exactly that, unity across the entire planet, across the entire solar system, across the galaxy and the galaxies and the galaxies beyond that and the universe and on and on and on. There is no end just as there was no beginning. Any other questions here? I do. This yes. is Nancy. I the question I have is that um I've been doing some research and trying to see what um what planet I'm from and um the more research I get the more I come to find out that um I am a Pleiadian and I just wanted to um ask that question so if you if you can tell me if I'm what right on that. We can tell you and many of you already know the answer we are going to give here. But we are not going to spoil the surprise for you. Whatever one tells you, you are Pleiadian, you are Syrian, you are Antarian, you are this, you are that, it makes no difference unless it comes from within you. If you feel the uh, movement to know where you are from, where home is for you, then go within yourself and ask. And if it comes to you, Pleiadian, then go with that for now. And when the moment arises and you are uh, faced, uh, face to face with those that you came from, whether it is Pleiadian or Syrian or Arthurian or whatever it is, it will be that at that moment, you see. So there is no reason to uh, push it here at this time. Just let it be what it is. Please, all of you, take that song by the Beatles directly. <laughs> Utilize it. Let it be. You see? Let it be. Because that is what will continue to move you through these lower vibrations into the higher vibrations and permanently into those higher vibrations. You need to learn to let it go. Let all of the old programming go. And old programming would ask, where am I from? You see? It matters not at this point. Okay? Okay, thank you. I have one more question. Yes. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Yes. Um, saying that uh, um, so so many people want to know where they're from. Am I from here? Am I from there? Wouldn't that be considered limiting and putting yourself in a box? Why couldn't we be from everywhere? Yes. Yes, that is why we say it is part of the programming. Do not be concerned about where you are from. You are just from. That's all. <laughs> you just are. <laughs> just are, yes. Just be. Thank you. Other questions? I have a question. Yes? Yeah, for those of us that are just awakening, do we have to go through the implant removals and all that, that, happened prior to now? 
There is another example of letting it be. Just let it go. Do not be concerned about this, whether there is implants, whether there is not implants, whether they have been taken out, whether they have not been taken out. It matters not at this point. And we can tell you it certainly matters not for all of you at this point. So do Thank not you. be concerned about this any longer. This has already been taken care of. Thank you. That's comforting. Hi, this is Lorelai. Um, <laughs> how you doing? Um, I have a question. Okay, so for many years now, I have been um, having um, ideas, plans, thoughts, courses, um, all downloaded, if you will, and I write them out in great detail and and, you know, but I hadn't, and this is all about empowering human beings or thinking another way or new conversations or whatever the case may be. And there's three play, three movies written and all this other stuff. And what's interesting about it is that I didn't get to do concrete in the concrete reality, a lot of them yet. Um, and, um, but I see though, a lot of times I will, someone, I'll see something, I'll go, whoa. That's one of my things, of, and that was on my list, and I got it all written out. And, and here's another one over here that I was going to do, and there's somebody else doing this and somebody else doing that, and all this whole bunches of stuff. Like, I see them showing up everywhere. So my question is this. Um, the, does the mere, um, like, creation, is that, I mean, whether you actually did it in concrete reality, but you just, like, thought it up, does that, or it came to you, or you wrote it down or whatever, does that kind of go out into the soup so that, like, it is the contribution, like, not necessarily that you did it, but that it came through somehow, even if you didn't get to it yet? Is that the case? Every, every single thought that you have goes into the collective consciousness. And every single thought is there for the collective, those that are in the collective consciousness to be able to utilize that thought and put it into creation to manifest it if they so desire. But what we would say to you and to all out there, too complicated, too much. Do not be concerned about did you do this? Did you do that? Did I complete this? Did I complete that? Should I do this? Should I do that? Let all of that go. And just let it be what it's going to be. We cannot tell you this enough and in, in enough different ways. But you need to come to understand that in the higher vibrations that you are continually moving into, all of this stuff matters not anymore. Because as you are able to create whatever you want from your imagination, from your visualizing skills, what need do you have of any of these types of concerns any longer? This is the old programming. This is the old ways, the old paradigm, the 3D illusion paradigm here, that I, I must think about something and then I must write it down and then I must put it into a book and then create a movie. That is all well and fine if that's what you feel called to do. But do not be concerned if you are feeling this way, but yet you do not need to follow through with this. It is okay. It is what it is. Do not feel guilty about anything. Guilt is one of the worst things that you can possibly feel in your life. It is one of the... the Things that hold you back more, almost more than anything else. It holds you down in the lower vibrations. Let go of all of this. Let go, let it be, okay? My goodness, how many different times can we say this? Or ways can we say this? Many <laughs> minutes. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I Something must be that. happening. <laughs> We need to think it. <laughs> okay, I have one more question that I'm dying to ask here. Yes. Um, when, during the advance, when we had the ceremony, and many women joined in, and um, many of the women that were my sisters as oracles, 
bond became very strong, and I started remembering things. And I've been using some ceremony uh, from my memory, and I want to for ceremony for healing and shifting things. And I want to know if I'm really remembering those things, or if it's something I'm making up. Yes, we just heard that in the background, Joanna. <laughs> Joanna. Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> what can we tell you that you do not already know? You know deep down within you the answer to this question as well as many of the other questions that are asked. You have this inner knowledge. Not only you, but all of you have this within you. It is simply remembering those things that you have had in the past or done in the past. It is remembering. It is not doing something new. There is nothing new under the sun. That is your saying. And it is true. You have done it all. You have been there, done it all. And everything that comes to you, whether it is you are thinking it is your imagination, and if it is, that's wonderful. Because it is your imagination that is going to, to propel you into the fifth dimension. You see? This is what you need to come to understand more and more and more. So if you are having memories come back, let it go. Let it be that. Do not try to analyze whether they are uh, memories or if you are just making this up. If you are making it up, so what? If it feels right, go with it, okay? Any further question here before we leave the panel? I have a quick question before you go. Three from the UK okay. again. Very um, quick. I know, very quick. <laughs> when you're, I, I've learned a technique, and I don't know if this is my, this is for the collective. I learned a technique, and I, I, I mean it, it helped me uh, that I was actually um, I'm able to detach myself through deep meditation from the collective and go into a zero point mode where I have detached myself from the human collective this is, not say in the galactic collective, just Earth Matrix Collective. I'm able to do that. Is I mean I I hope I may I hope I'm doing it. I believe I'm doing it. I don't know if, if you're aware of that and if that is still if it's possible, but I, I seem to be doing it and I do kind of go off in my own little world somewhere or a reality that I created within that single point mode when I detach myself from the collective. Yes, is there a question there? Technically, yeah, because I kind of, um, which was strange because I still can talk to my higher self when I detach myself from the matrix, but that's it, everything's so clear. When I talk to is my higher a, self, when I'm in the matrix. Is there a question here? Um, it's just more of a collective one. It's just maybe to put it out there to them that they're, this is able, uh, am I doing it or am I imagining it? There is the same answer here we just gave. It does not matter whether you are imagining it, remembering it, whatever it is, it matters not. Only thing that matters is that you just go with whatever it is, you let it be. If it feels right, it is right. That is how you need to go with this. Do not be concerned, do not analyze, do not... Uh, Go deep within yourself and find that child within and all of these types of things. Let it be and be who you are. Be the I am consciousness at all times. And if you do this, if you just simply be, then you will be everything that you need to be. Okay? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, I'm happy. I go off in my own little world and uh, it's quite nice. I get pulled back in, if you know what I mean, so thank you. Yes. We are done for the time here. We are needing to release channel. And also, uh, just to know that everything is exactly as it needs to be. We cannot tell you this in, in, in too many different ways, or we try to tell you this in so many different ways here, rather. And... Uh, just let it be what it is going to be. You are in the right place, the right time, the right moment, 
Everything is happening exactly as it needs to be. Everything is being orchestrated, and you are the ones that are creating this orchestration. You just need to come to understand that, and as you do this, you will find yourself moving more and more and more into the higher vibrations, into the higher dimensional frequencies, and experiencing all that we have been talking about that you will experience as you move through this ascension process. Shanti, peace be with you. Okay. Be the one. Thank you. 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 Thank you.